Hey, it's me. It is time for monthly favorites. I don't have a ton of things to talk about this month, but the things that I am talking about, I have been 100, 100% loving. I think you guys will enjoy a lot of these products too. So if you are not subscribed, please make sure you do so. And if you aren't following me on Instagram and Twitter, my handle will be right here. Let's go ahead and pop into these favorites. First up is a brand I've been really intrigued by recently and I'm gonna be doing a full face using this brand next week. I spent all of my money during the VIB sale on this brand just so I could kind of review it more and that is Nude Sticks. So I've been using the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencils for, I've actually had this Whisper one for a really long time, probably when nude sticks first came on the scene it's pretty old but more recently i picked up a couple of other colors and i've really been using those a ton the past couple months so the color i'm wearing today is whisper this is the one i've had the longest it is on my cheeks and it's also on my lips as a lip liner i just love nude sticks as or i guess i should say i love the lip and cheek pencils because that's really the only product that i've tried from the brand but I love the concept of nude sticks. I think it is very user friendly. I love stick makeup in general. And I think it's just really practical, especially for the woman on the go. And for those of you who just really like nice, natural, organic looks. So the color whisper is just a nice neutral nude shade. Again, I love that it can be used for multiple things. And I'm really excited to test out more of their products, but so far so good the lip and cheek pencils i love using especially on my cheeks this is a lip gloss that i am also wearing and that i have been wearing a lot this month i've been getting a lot of compliments on it i just pulled it out from my lip drawer sat it on my desk and it's not left my desk ever since so it's the glow gloss from becca in the shade rose gold it's kind of like a tawny color like a warm uh, just a warm nude shade. I really just like it because I think it's flattering on, it's going to be flattering on anyone. And it just has a nice plump, juicy effect to it. I really like it also because when I don't wear lip liner with it, I still feel like it makes my lips look a little bit fuller. Just really flattering, really gorgeous. I don't think it's a rose gold color though. I wouldn't say it's rose gold. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge of it. I just think it's gorgeous and I have been wearing it a lot. Glossier Boy Brow has been on my desk for actually the past couple months. I have been using this every day, nonstop. My friend Allie, Allie Glein, sent this to me. She was just spot on. I knew I would like this. I don't know why I didn't pick it up sooner, but it is hands down, in my opinion, better than Gimme Brow. And you guys know I've been a Gimme Brow loyalist for years now. I am sold on this formula. I think it holds the brows in place a lot better. I also really like the color selection. I just think that it is a phenomenal product. It fills in your brows perfectly you don't even have to have a brow pencil uh, it fills in gaps it holds your brows in place the formula is just awesome so i've been using the color blonde that's the one she sent me she also sent me the clear i haven't used that one yet but the blonde has been perfect for my hair color bare minerals also sent some skincare over this month i have not been taking care of my skin at all i've been so exhausted at night that most of the time i just wash my face and put moisturizer on and that's it so now that things are kind of dying down we're settling into the house i have been trying to you know treat my skin a little bit better and a couple weeks ago bare minerals sent over these claymates mask duos they sent two and the one i've really been enjoying is the be pure and be dewy so these are basically mask duos there's two different formulas in the jar they also have one that is be bright and be firm i think that's what the other one is but I've really been liking this one because I feel like it just targets my needs a little bit better. It's got a purifying mask and then a hydrating mask in here. I use the purifying side on my forehead mainly, and then I use the pink side for the rest of my face. I really love how just kind of 
recharged and hydrated these make my skin feel i also think the concept is really cool the fact that you get two different formulas in here just all around really neat and they also sent over these mineral cleansing wipes I've been loving these, number one, because they don't have a harsh smell and they don't leave a residue on my skin. Even though I wash my face after using wipes, I just, I don't know, I appreciate a good quality wipe and these are just that. Obviously, I cannot get through this video without mentioning the Emily Edit palettes. I have been using these every single day. I'm currently wearing the Once palette on my eyes right now. I was really shocked with this palette because it is pretty colorful and, you know, neutral is the name of my game most of the time, but I have had such a blast creating some fun out of the box looks with this palette. Currently, I'm wearing some of my favorite shades from the palette, which are Prayer, Dues Paid, and then uh, also Apartment, just kind of like the warm brown shades in here. I am so proud of Emily. I think this collaboration is a perfect rainbow in the shitstorm that is the beauty community right now. I could not be more happy for her and this collaboration. It, they are both phenomenal palettes. I can tell that she put her heart and soul into designing these. And I've, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Brands, if you're watching, you need to be collaborating with influencers like Emily because they are true influencers. They influence for the right reasons. She is still passionate about what she does she posts so many videos weekly with a wealth of knowledge and i think that's what the beauty community needs to go back to things just need to go back to the root of inspiration whether that's inspiring someone to pick up you know an eyeshadow palette to create a look that they were inspired by when they saw you create it or whether that is you know comparing and contrasting two foundations to help a consumer decide which one might be better for them um, so yeah, I'm really excited for Emily. I think that this is a phenomenal collaboration. I hope to see more like it in the future. And if you have not picked up the Wants or the Needs palette, I would highly recommend. They are amazing quality for the price. You're not going to break your bank. For the price of both of these guys is cheaper than what most of the uh, influencer collaborations for like, let's just say one palette would be. So this guy right here is 15 and this guy right here is 20. Well worth it in my book and I'm so proud of Emily. For lifestyle favorites this month, I have two. I have my cold brew coffee maker, which again, I get questions about daily ever since I have talked about that dang thing. I have been getting DMs. I've been getting comments on my videos. I think it is, yes, a genius little product and I have been obsessed with it. I use it every single week. So if you guys missed the video where I talked about it, I will link down below. I don't wanna, you know, ramble on too much about it, but essentially it's a cold brew coffee maker. It came from Amazon and I have just been completely obsessed with it. Last but not least is our new sofa that I designed with Burrow. And if you aren't familiar with Burrow, they're an online furniture company. They do sofas, ottomans, love seats, things of that nature. I was really excited when they emailed us and asked if I wanted to design a couch for our new space. And I was like, yes, please. I have been dying to have new furniture that kind of has that cool mid-century vibe to it. And that is exactly what Burrow is. It's a very classic, clean look. I also really wanted to do navy for a couch. And they just happened to have a navy upholstered option on there so i immediately chose the navy with really nice wooden legs basically it comes to your door and you put it together it has this really cool modular system and i kind of thought that was going to be hard but it was super easy and i really suck at putting things together but it took will and i no time to put the sofa together it has a built-in charger so you can charge your phone and you can also switch the cushions around to have either a smooth classic look or a really cool tufted look um burrow did give me a code for you guys to use they are not sponsoring this they did send me the product for free but uh, I'm not pay, being paid to say any of this. Also, the code is not an affiliate link. It's just a general 
uh, code that you guys can use if you are looking for some new furniture with a you know really cool look to it that really cool mid-century modern look so I've been enjoying the sofa um, and so have the doggos all right guys that is it for monthly favorites I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about the things I talked about Feel free to leave them down below. Also, let me know what you guys want to see in upcoming videos. I've already got a few planned, but I'm curious to know what you want to see as far as beauty goes, lifestyle, home, things of that nature. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.